Welcome to the introduction to Gobo Rotators. In this video I'm going to talk about how to set up a Roscoe DHA Gobo Rotator and some of the effects that can be created with it. After placing the gobo into the aperture, place the black washer on the top and secure the whole assembly with the retaining clip. If using two gobos, simply turn the unit over and repeat the process. If using a glass gobo, as is shown here, do not place the black washer on the top, only the retaining clip. The unit can be addressed by using the dials on the front of the device, as shown here. The unit is placed into the fixture in front of the gobo holder. To power the gobo rotator, place the male end of a scroller cable into the line out on the power unit and place the female end into the effect unit. The unit will then reset itself to its home position shown by the flashing LEDs. When this stops, the unit is ready for use. One of the many effects that can be created using the gobo rotator is the illusion of moving water. Modifying the speed and direction of the movement can alter the effect that is being created. The effect shown here has been created by defocusing a linear gobo and a spinning colourizer. Focus of the beam also impacts the image that has been created. effect that can be created by using a gobo rotator is that of cloud movement. This effect, shown here, was created by using a cloud gobo and a linear gobo rotating whilst defocused to create the ripple that is seen. Fire is another effect that can be created through the use of the gobo rotator. This effect here is created by using a fire gobo and a rotating colourizer. The gobo rotators can also be used to create non-conventional effects. For example, the image shown could be used to recreate being underwater or even being in space. If you experiment with different gobos, gels and even animation discs in conjunction, then your only limit is your imagination. <laughs>